Hello, good morning. Welcome to your favorite channel, Joy News. And I bring you the most exciting and interactive 30 minutes of your viewing pleasure. Also on DSTV 41, Go TV Channel 144, and on YouTube with my Joy Online TV. Your comments and messages are always welcome on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram with Joy News on TV. I'm a Peter CBD. Thank you so much for your company. Do send your comments via WhatsApp as well on 0540 10909. And I'm also going to open the phone lines 03022116910302211692. Do join the conversation on all our social media platforms. Now, there are very few instances where a debate on the floor of Ghana's parliament is not along, along party lines. One such instance is when members of parliament we have to debate an increase in their salaries. Well, there was a similar occurrence on Friday, but not on salaries. Now, ranking member for the health committee, uh, Kwabena Minta Ak Akando, uh, demanded amendment of the country's laws to decriminalize attempted suicide. Now, his statement was read by uh, Clement, uh, uh, Dr. Clement Abak. Our laws does treat a person with suicidal tendencies as a criminal. This is part of the colonial realism with the introduction of English criminal jurisprudence that we have to deal with rather than live with. An attempt to criminalize it cannot constitute a tool for effectively dealing with it. Attempted suicide or the ambivalent expression of the desire to commit suicide, quote, I want to die, unquote, is actually a cry for help, a neurotic expression of the need for help or feeling of desperation and helplessness. Mr. Speaker, criminalization of attempted suicide encourages persons who have suicidal tendencies to take every measure to ensure that they do not fail in their attempt. Also, criminalization discourages suicidal persons from reporting suicidal crisis early enough for help. It also encourages underreportage, thus leading to underrepresentation, which is not good for planning for suicidal prevention. In conclusion, Mr. Speaker, we must endeavor to remove the stigma associated with attempted suicide and make our system our system friendly to suicidal persons to be able to receive mental health services, social support, and compassion rather than handcuff or jail them in cell. Minority leader Haruna Idrisi, however, disagreed with the ranking member, arguing it would encourage people going through frustration to believe that they could simply take their own lives. Now, some other MPs from both sides of the House, including uh, Kwame Agboja of, and First Deputy Speaker Joe Ose, uh, Wusu, also expressed their views. Speaker, we have heard how many times people having even marital issues have gotten to a point where they took their own lives. People having financial issues, and sometimes I find it quite interesting. When somebody is having financial issue, and then maybe he can't pay rent, can't deal with himself, and attempts suicide, and then part of the remedy at the court is to find him. He can't find money to pay rent, and you are finding him. If he can't pay his rent, how is he going to find money to pay for, uh, a court fine for attempted uh, uh, suicide? I feel if we decriminalize this, Mr. Speaker, government will be encouraged to look at the ways of supporting these people. I don't remember the last time I saw or heard somebody prosecuted for attempted suicide. There are some matters we should just allow to lie. Growing up, those people uh, in the small communities are actually helped. Uh, they are taking to our informal counselors. What I suggest we do is pretend that it doesn't exist because truly that is how we have looked at it in the past few years and focus on more pressing things. I will support the call and for us to initiate action in this regard. I believe that if there is anything at all we can do as parliament 
a, a private member's bill in this direction will be adequate. What we need to do is to make sure that people who have become susceptible to um, suicide, they are taken as mental cases. I disagree with the maker of the statement that we should decriminalize it. Unacceptable behavior must be punished and deterred. You don't want a society where you encourage young children that if they have problems, they should resort to killing themselves. Which society develops that way? So, Mr. Speaker, I commend the maker, but fundamentally, I disagree with him. There is basis why our criminal law, and Mr. Speaker, again, you are a good lawyer. Law is source, is morality. That behavior is immoral. All right, let's go to the phone line. Sharif is on the line. Good morning, Sharif. Good morning. Yeah, so do you think Ghana should decriminalize suicide or attempted suicide? Hi, Sharif. Do we still have Sharif on the line? Yeah, it should be decriminalized. Why? All right, so Sharif, I need you to do me a favor. So let's speak via the phone. So you don't have to listen to me on the TV. Listen to me via phone. Is that okay? Yeah, it's okay. Okay, so yeah, you were saying, should Ghana decriminalize attempted suicide? Yeah. Any reason why? Anybody who tries taking his own life mm -hmm. needs this thing or some kind of support. Mm. No normal person would like to take his life. So I don't see why people should be this thing, tried or this in jail because they try taking their life. Anybody who tries doing that needs some kind of help. Mm. Okay, all right. Thank you. That's Sheriff calling from Bulga. Uh, do join us during the conversation on 030-221-1691. 030-221-1692. You can also send us a WhatsApp message on 0540-10909. Should Ghana decriminalize attempted suicide? Let's go to Facebook and see what you have been saying. This one is from Nana Bwacho. says, and do you think someone will just get up to commit suicide just like that? Such death is either psychologically or spiritually. Find proper ways to handle it instead of criminali criminalizing it. KPS says, uh, mind uh, colonization is at work. We are not the ones to suggest whether Ghana should uh, legalize uh, attempted suicide or not. It is together in the colonization book that so we had nothing to say about it all right i don't I'm not sure i get your comments care up here but okay let's move on to the next let's go to cape coast quarting is on the line good morning quarting yeah good morning so do this, you, is what I mm -hmm. this is what i have to say mm. in the very first place those who are saying that the uh, those uh, attempting uh, suicide need to be I mean, uh, guilt or fine or whatever it is. Mm. Ask them a simple question. How many normal people would do that? People in their normal senses would not, never do that. Yeah. So it tells you that these people, they have problems yeah. that society has refused to address. So it is best, those who are calling for not, uh, the, the law not to be repealed, it is best for them to ask the, 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 uh, themselves questions. What are the welfare systems for people who uh, go through such, I mean, problems? If you go to the United States, there's something they call halfway houses, mm. where people who are showing uh, symptoms of depression or whatever it is, or they don't have job, whatever, and then they are going through emotional problems, are catered for. Mm. So therefore, if you have access to all these things, and then you don't take advantage of it, then it means that you are deliberately attempting to do something. But these are cases, ask yourself, what are welfare uh, packages in this country? Mm -hmm. That is what Parliament should think of doing. If they repeal that law, first, second, they must enforce welfare systems that are elsewhere around the world yeah. to cater for the downtrodden or the needy or people who are going through psychological trauma. That is my take on that. All Thank right. You. Thank you so much, Kwating. Let's go to Sadiq. Good morning, Sadiq. Hey, my sister. Yeah, so the question we're asking, should Ghana decriminalize attempted suicide? Right. Uh, 
I agree with you uh, in the brief and uh, other uh, previous colleagues. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the issue is that uh, when you look at the situation, just as uh, the earlier colleagues uh, stressed, yeah. there are people who do it when they are not normal. But people also do it out of frustration. Uh, excuse me to say, you will not say a person who is frustrated is not a normal human being. For okay. example, you don't have money. You don't want to work. You don't have money mm. on you. And because of that, then you see somebody putting on good attacks, eating well. Then you go to community center because you are not working out of your laziness. In that case, that person should be charged for attempting murder, uh, whatever it is, when he, he does not succeed. Mm. But in a situation where there are people who are abnormal and attempt committing suicide, yeah. in that in that case, they can be sent to the uh, what is it, mental doctors or whoever is concerned to find out. But there are people who do it. They are normal and uh, out of laziness. Yeah. They go to commit suicide because they feel the world is too hard for them. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Sadiq. Let's go to Isa in Walawale. Good morning, Isa. Good morning, madam. Yeah. Uh, I support the case that we should decriminalize it. Okay. Yeah, uh, because in the first place, assuming the fellow was having a financial problem, mm -hmm. and through the financial problem, he was killing or harming him or herself. Mm -hmm. And now, if you are finding the fellow again, is it that you are solving the problem or you are worsening the fellow case? Okay. So I support the fact that we should decriminalize the Attempted. Okay. All right. Thank you so much, Isa. All right. So the question we're asking, should Ghana decriminalize attempted suicide? So the operative word is attempted suicide because, I mean, if it's suicide, the person is already dead, so we can't decriminalize suicide. So it's attempted. Attempted suicide. Uh, let's go to Facebook and see what you have been saying. This one is from at Azuma Abdul, who says victims of suicide need help and not how. Decriminalize attempted suicide. So Bernard Kwame says yes, because attempted suicide is a psychological disease. Kweku Asamwa says, why is someone who wants to commit suicide? That's the question we're also asking at uh, Tokochi. Jacob says, suicide is a sign of depression, so why should a person be punished for it? The person needs help. At Samuel Koku says, Kweku says, it has to be decriminalized. All right. By Jeremiah says, no, attempted suicide and suicide itself is a serious matter of concern and should not be decriminalized, especially at this crucial time of uh, increase in suicides, okay, even amongst uh, teenagers. If we decriminalize it, it would lead to an increase in suicide in the country, okay. We really appreciate your calls, but we prefer it if you sent us a WhatsApp message instead because we really can't answer your phone right now. We can't answer your call. So send us a WhatsApp message. Justice says, yes, it is a must. Telling somebody alone about suicide idea can prevent uh, death. I am for decriminalization. At Kofi Otobal says, majority of suicidal cases are as a result of mental illness. So I recommend psychological evaluation or qualified medical professional to restore such a person. Yes, it should be decriminalized. At Doji says, my opinion is that this law should be replaced with legalization that help put a systematic structure in um, place to identify, take in and follow such people for better social re habilitation. GH Israel says the first time I'm hearing good thoughts from some of our MPs, suicidal behavior needs to be decriminalized. They are, are to listen to not they are to be listened to and not to be punished. And do you think if you don't listen to them and help them solve their problems they will not commit the suicide after you've punished them and not helping them solving the reasons for the attempted suicide. Let's help those people rather than punishing them. Thank you. So I'm going to take some of your WhatsApp messages. This one says, what well, he's asking, should Ghana decriminalize suicide? Decriminalize suicide will just create room for more suicide cases. I think those people should be subjected to mental health care. And this one is from at Ice KK in Kumase. Uh, this one says, yes, 
Attempted suicide should be decriminalized. Why should you want to torture someone? You should be extending a helping hand uh, to this one is from Francis in Somania and from Richard, Richmond, he says it's a big no. It shouldn't be decriminalized. Timothy and also says, good morning. Even if you're going through emotional problems, is suicide the best thing to do? I think it's spiritual. All right, more of your WhatsApp messages coming. Let me see if I can get to this one. Ghana must criminalize suicide. Doctors say it is a mental issue. Research also shows that it was copied from the British uh, Cornelius. Okay, meanwhile, Britain has decriminalized it since 1961. Why should we copy it if not criminalize it? It does not make sense to maintain it. All right. Uh, this one is asking. Okay. All right. So last few messages I'm going to take. What's that message? It says, Ghana needs to. No normal person will commit suicide. They really need, need serious attention. If you think your life is worth it, worthless, visit the hospital and you'll give thanks to God for your life. No one has the right to take his or her life. Decriminalizing attempts at suicide is not the best thing to do. This one is from Abdul Aziz in Wa. And Emmanuel Opari says it does not make sense to maintain it. Now, the Ministry of Education says it is investigating a video in which a supposed free SHS ambassador was campaigning or seen campaigning in a senior high school. That video went viral on various social media platforms, but let's watch it and take your comments after that. Some of you will register next year so that you can put this in. The only way you can maintain it so that you can continue out to form three and complete is by advising your seniors, by advising your parents, advising your brothers, and then your sisters who are in the house who can do it. Advise them, please. Tell them, please, I want to complete secondary school. So maintain secondary education, maintain free education. This is the only way you can maintain it. By advising them, crying to their, your parents, crying to your brothers and sisters, tell them that when they are going to go, they should think about you. Tell them that they should think about you first. That's the more reason why you are here. Your education is paramount. Your education. That's why the ambassador. Now that video went viral on social media. Let's see what you guys had to say about it. This one is from Ed David Dong, who says, I hope GS is watching. What is good for the goose is also good for the Gansai. If Ghanaians are equal, GES should do something about the head teachers of those schools. Kofi Jemfi Watson says, this is what I call pure desperation by a sitting government in their attempt to retain power. Other than that, why would you need a free education ambassador to trumpet a policy he claimed was well thought through and well implemented? It's rather unfortunate. Margaret Harmon says, ha, huh, Ghana, begging for your votes, ha. Huh. I thought you said you have more than expected, so why campaigning in the schools? Allow your good works to do the campaign. Anthony says free SHS is a campaign tool by itself. Wait to see in 2020 number of parents who will voluntarily campaign for the originator of the policy. 95% of parents and the wards who qualify to vote will vote to sustain the policy. This one is from Ed KCD who says these political shenanigans with the uh, okay, all right, let's <laughs> let's skip to the next comment. Matthias says, should it be that way? Why can't the government make the free SHS more effective and efficient so these young ones can spend the good you can spread the good news themselves? This one says, now government and the ministers say they didn't assign anyone to do such a thing. Our PTAs are so powerless. All right, so I'm going to take a quick breather. We'll be back with more.
If you're still watching Joy News Interactor with myself, my pizza CBD, you know how to continue the conversation on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram or Joy News on TV. Now, a whole queen mother of Ghana was trending on Twitter. I'm sure you've seen it because American actress model uh, said Li Lisa Ray McCoy in, an in a recent interview on the Wendy Williams show has been talking about Ghana where she referred to herself as the queen mother of Ghana. All right, in September this year, Lisa Ray was installed as queen mother of Agono in the <laughs> central region. <laughs> So the name of the town is Agono, Agona, Konyako, in the central region. <laughs> so it took social media on fire because, I mean, people are asking, how is that your whole queen mother of Ghana? What does that even mean? But if you haven't watched that video, check it out. Queen, <laughs> like we've talked about you so much in the past few weeks. I've heard, I've seen a little bit, and you all over the place. I know, well... I I don't know how you keep popping up in the middle of stories. I'm hot. Uh, <laughs> okay, so one of the stories we talked about is so now you went from first lady of the Turks and the Caicos, mm -hmm. and now you're the queen of Ghana? Queen mother of Ghana. Okay. Oh. Yeah. And, and that's really big for what I'm doing now, using my platform for the better me for creating peace and awareness for education over there. I want to do a small school over there. So I'm doing a lot of educating and stuff now. Yeah. Good for you. So Queen Mother of the whole country, the whole Ghana. I'm sure she wanted to say the town, but because she couldn't pronounce it, she was just like, you know what, I'll just say Queen Mother of Ghana. But she's been bashed on social media. A lot of people are trolling her. Let's see what you guys have been saying about that and how you reacted to your new Queen Mother of Ghana. Uh, Ama says, Queen Mother of Ghana, this modern Ghana or the old Ghana empire. Uh, well, let me continue to enjoy my ancestral jollof. At Adra says, uh, even Ya Asantua would not have said she's the Queen Mother of Ghana. At gold underscore YY says, as in how you're going to be crowned queen mother of Ghana, which isn't even a thing in America. And at William says, so the queen mother of Ghana probably has to queue for the visa to go to Ghana. Yeah, that makes sense. At sick of Facebook says, so as the queen mother of Ghana, has Lisa Ray McCoy laid out any plans towards... Uh, curbing the oncoming traffic situation in Accra next month? I mean, that's a very serious question. People are worried about the traffic situation because you have returned, there'll be a lot of people in town. So what are we doing about the traffic situation? At Akuya says, I just saw Lisa Ray open her mouth and say she's the queen mother of Ghana. How do I stop this ride? I want to get off it. It's making me feel sick. And she nodded with, that, with such vim while the crowd were all smiling and clapping for her turn this week oh please i'm tired at christ the king says i don't blame lisa ray for saying she's the queen mother of ghana the chiefs in our villages just install any foreigner who pays them a visit victoria says just like the title queen of zamunda there is in fact no such thing as queen mother of ghana And Jade says, Queen Mother of which Ghana? Pa. And at Uzana Stan says, How can she be the Queen Mother of Ghana? When is Ghana a republic? When Ghana is a republic. And Mami Kukwa says, Bro, this is why Ghanaians need to stop instilling American celebrities anyhow. What is Queen Mother of Ghana? All right, that's how we end Joy News Interactive here on your Joy News channel on DSTV channel 41 and go to the channel 144. You know how to join the conversation on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram with Joy News on TV. I am a piece of CBD. Thank you so much for joining me.